Hey guys, Tech Chris here, and I'm going to be talking about your graphics processing unit. How to choose one, and how to pick one, and know which one is right for you. So let's just dive right into this. Well, the first question would be, really, what is a graphics processor? So your graphics processor is what renders all the video on your computer if you are running programs. Uh, so you've got your... It's going to, there's two major aspects. You've got the clock speed, which is basically how fast it will render, and you've got your VRAM, which is the, basically the canvas. Think of it like an artist with its canvas. The artist, how fast it can paint, and how much space it has. So the VRAM is your video random access memory. It's like your random access memory on your motherboard, which just stands for RAM. It's just the video version. If you max that out while you're playing a game or rendering a video, it will swap over to your regular computer memory and start using that up. And then once that is used up, it will crash your computer. So it's a very important aspect of your PC. Now I don't know if you're building a computer or you're just thinking about upgrading. So those are two things that you've got to take into consideration. The biggest one would be make sure that it fits in your case. Um, make sure you know the dimensions. If you're running a micro ATX, a mini ATX, or a regular ATX motherboard, and if that's the type of case you have. The other one would definitely be to make sure that the video card you're buying will work with your power supply. So this is a very prime example. This one requires 14 power pins. Now, some graphics processing unit, like the 16 Super I have in this computer, only requires a 6-pin connector. So make sure to check your power supply unit and make sure that it can handle a bigger video card if you're going to buy one. And you're also going to want to add up all the wattage of your computer and make sure that you're not exceeding how much wattage your power supply is. And you're going to want to make sure that your power supply is providing double the amount of power for your computer. So let's say I'm using 500 watts, I'd want a 1000 watt power supply. Now that's just the recommendation I've been saying for years. Um, I mean, you you could be okay going up to 80%, but from my knowledge of being a technician, usually that causes your power supply to fail which when a power supply fails, it can take other components with it. Anyways, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to balance your budget as well. You don't wanna have $400 in PC components and then buy a $1,600 video card to go into the computer, unless you're mining cryptocurrency. I mean, that's the only thing you'd really wanna do if you're spending that much on a video card and not really, the, the video card's not really gonna be your bottleneck make sure to pick a video card that's within your budget. If you want to buy a $200 video card and your computer's worth $1,200, you're spending 20% of your budget on the video card, whereas you're gonna wanna like flip that. You'd rather spend more money on the video card if you're gaming, whereas if you're making and rendering video, you're probably gonna be leaning more towards spending more money on the CPU to make sure that you're rendering the video fast enough. Video cards also have your resolutions and refresh rates. So if you're looking to make the best quality videos, you're gonna want a higher end video card. Whereas if you're just trying to push videos out constantly, and you don't really care how long they take to render, you can go with a slow video card and you're not going to really notice the difference. You've got high end, you've got medium, and you've got low end video cards and you can find them all over the place. I'd recommend going on Reddit to look at reviews. Um, go to User Benchmark, userbenchmark.com. That one's phenomenal for telling you exactly what graphics processing unit other people have been using and how their ratings are, like what the value to price, well, you know, value to performances. So definitely make sure to look that up. And before you buy any video card, 
make sure to look him up on YouTube. Do a nice review. Well, look up some reviews and see if other people enjoy them and if they have any concerns or ran into any issues with them. Now, if you're looking to have someone basically tell you what video card you should buy, I'd recommend going to Reddit and go to the subreddit of Build a PC. The guys over there are very welcoming to people and they answer any question you would have. You could ask them, I have a budget of $300 and I'm looking for the video card. These are the specs I'm looking for or this is my budget for my whole computer. They would be willing to help pick one out for you. Also, keep in mind that the higher resolutions you have, like 1080p, 1440p, and 4K, and the refresh rates of like 60 hertz and 144 hertz demand more GPU power. So if you're rendering like super end, super high end video and you're pulling 360 hertz footage, you're gonna have to have a powerful video card to be able to actually render those down. Anyways, I wanna thank you for joining me while I talk about GPUs for a little bit. And I hope this video helps you make a decision on where you need to look and what you need to think about before you go and just purchase a, a graphics card. Now, if you're looking for graphics cards, I'll put a couple links down below um, to Amazon. There's a, there's the, I'll put the video cards that I actually use myself. I've got the 1660 over there. I believe it's a super, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And then I've also, I also use my RX 590. So I'll put those down below. And the other one I have used in the past is the GT730, which is a two gigabyte, very low end video card, but it works for many ITX cases. Anyways, have a good day. Bye.